हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे टॉपिक इज हाफ एडर फुल एडर माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर दिस इज द टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू द सब्जेक्ट बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स आउट ऑफ दिस टॉपिक दिस माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट आई मीन ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ दिस टू थिंग इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड the comparison between micro processor and micro controller is again the most important part so do watch this video till the end now first we will discuss about the hap adder the question related to hap adder is implement hap adder using gates truth table and give equations for sum and carry it is uh, usually asked for 6 marks now what is a hap adder it is a combinational circuit which is used to add two input signal as shown in this block diagram this is the block diagram i have shown two inputs so these two inputs a and b are binary inputs this is the block for hop adder which performs addition of two inputs a and b it generates two outputs first output is sum that is denoted by s its equation is logical expression is a x or b we have already discussed this point this symbol draw a circle write plus sign inside the circle indicates xor addition and carry second output of this hap adder is carry which is given by a into b do remember the basic things a into b is the logical expression for and gate whereas this a x or b is the logical expression for x or that is exclusive or gate now if you just know these two simple formula you can design all the things you can well attempt this question how to do it first i need to generate the truth table so there are two inputs so i first i will write the possible combinations related to input it is 00011011 these are the possible combinations related to input now i need to uh, obtain the values for sum equation of sum is a x or b recall the things in case of x or addition if there are odd number of ones odd number of ones in the input then output is one so check the inputs here there is no one both the inputs are zero zero so this s is zero s is a x or b what i said if in case of addition there are odd number of ones then and then only this uh, answer of x or addition is one first combination is zero zero both inputs are zero there is no one term so answer is zero that is in, in the column of s i have written zero the next combination is zero one there is one uh, used only one times that means this number is odd so since one is appearing one times it is odd number so this output is one next combination is one zero again one is appearing only once so it one is the odd number so its output is one now last combination <clears throat> one one here we have two inputs both the inputs of uh, are one that means the number 1 is appearing two times two times that is value 2 is the even number so for even number output of xor gate is zero so this is the answer for uh, summation values some values now carry how to generate carry it is simply a dot b a dot b is addition operation we know that in case of logical and operation it is and operation in case of logical and operation when both the inputs are one both the inputs are one then and then only output is one so here inputs are zero zero output is zero then zero plus uh, zero into one that is zero one into zero is zero one one both inputs are one so output is one so this is the truth table for hap adders very simple just by remembering these two logical expressions you can generate the truth table same technique it is asked also to draw the implement the hap adder using logic gates and give equations for sum and carry i have already written equations in the diagram itself this is the truth table i have to implement it using logic gates how to implement it there are two inputs a and b so somewhere i will draw here two inputs a and b i will mark these lines are input a and b now first i need to generate sum equation of sum is a x or b that means i need to use make use of xor gate so i will apply these two inputs to the xor gate this is the symbol for xor gate 
where I have applied A and B two inputs, output of XOR bit I will denote it by S and equation of S is A XOR B. This XOR gate generates XOR addition of A and B that means it generates some S. Now to generate carry we have the equation A dot B. It is the equation related to logical AND gate. So I need to draw one AND gate. Again, I have to apply same inputs to this AND gate. How to draw it? Very simple. These are the lines corresponding to inputs A and B. From this line, I will draw, I will take out the signal and apply, I will apply to this AND gate. Second signal B, I will take it out from this. This dot indicates you are again taking out this signal from this line and I will apply a second input to this AND gate. Output of this AND gate, that is C, will be equals to a dot b that is a and b very simple so this is the implementation of half adder using logic gates now let us discuss the full adder next is full adders the question related to full adder is draw and explain full adder using uh, basic gates with truth table this is the block diagram of full adder major difference between half adder and full adder is that in case of half adder we had only two inputs in case of full adder there are three inputs a b and c in carry input so there are three inputs and two outputs first output is sum which is denoted by s second output is carry out so what additional input is there that is c in now again like the previous case you need to memorize these two equations which are again simple it is similar to the previous uh, uh, equation of the half adder just add XOR, I mean XOR addition, add all the inputs. So A, XOR, B, XOR, C in. I have uh, XOR all the three inputs that produces some S. To generate the carry, remember it like this. It is this into this. So it is AND operation, A into B, then B into C in. I mean first into second, second into third, and first into third. So A into B, B into C in, and A into C in and add all these values <clears throat> so this is the equation to generate the uh, c out that is carry out one of the outputs of x orbit now how to uh, write the truth table see to write the values of truth table actually there are three inputs so we have the input levels from 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 i have already told you how to remember this table it's very simple in the last column of input, go on writing alternately 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Then in uh, next column, I mean second last column, 2 times 0, 2 times 1, 2 times 0, 2 times 1. In the first column, 4 times 0, 4 times 1. This is the way how you can simply, I mean nothing technical, you can simply remember this uh, uh, truth table. Now, how to generate sum? Again, sum is given by this equation, which is, XOR addition of A, B and C in. We know the rule of XOR uh, performance. So how to perform XOR addition? <clears throat> if there are odd number of ones in the input, output is one, otherwise it is zero. So first input, there are three inputs, zero, zero, zero. All the inputs are zero. So this output is zero. Requirement is that there should be odd number of ones. So this is zero, zero, one number one is appearing single times that is one times one is i'm saying one times one is or a number so output is one again zero one zero one is appearing only one times that is odd number so it is one zero one one number one is appearing two times two is even number so output is zero this is one zero zero one times one is appearing output is one one zero one two times number one is appearing output is zero again one one zero two times one is appearing output is zero 3 times 1 is appearing, so 3 is odd number, so output is 1. This is the way how you can generate this sum. Now, to generate, uh, to write the values of C out in the truth table, you need to implement this equation. Actually, this is, uh, I mean, not at all complicated, but this is uh, time consuming. So, if you can remember this, it will be more simple. 3 times 0, 1, 0, 3 times 1. Actually, you need to implement it by using this equation for example if i'm talking about first combination 0 0 0 then this will be 0 dot 0 plus 
0 dot 0 plus 0 dot 0. We know that this dot means multiplication is and operation plus is or operation. So corresponding output is 0. Likewise, the output of all the things are generated. Now, how to implement it using the basic circuits? We know that <clears throat> there are three inputs A, B and C. So somewhere I'm, I will mark three inputs A, B and C in these are the three inputs first we will draw the diagram to generate some it is XOR addition of these three inputs so I will draw XOR gate to generate the sum value so this XOR gate this is the XOR gate which give me value of S and S is A XOR B XOR C in now to generate C out I have to perform and operation of A and B, then and operation of B into C in, and operation of A into C in. So, I will draw corresponding line first A into B in. So, I need one AND gate. This AND gate, I have taken out signals A and B. This AND gate represents A into B. Then, next is B into C in. So, again, you can take value from this point like this. This is again signal B, B into C in. C in can be taken from this line like this. So this AND gate generates B into C in. Next is A into C in. We have drawn the line for A up to this point. Check this line. This is the line for A up to this point. Same line I will take, I will draw the diagram like this. This is input A. Second input is C in. C in we have obtained up to this point. Again, take the same input, use AND gate like this. So I have used three AND gates. Now, uh, output of every AND gate, there is a plus sign. Plus sign means I need to use a OR gate. Plus means addition operation is performed using the OR gate. So I will use one OR gate. I will apply these three inputs to the OR gate and output of OR gate will give me the value of C out. This is the way how you can draw the logical diagram of a full adder using the basic gates. Basic gates are XOR, I mean um, AND gate uh, and OR gate. Now the question can be like this. <clears throat> how to implement full adder using two half adders. Very simple to remember this word. Full adder, uh, half, both, both the half adders, you need to add it, you need to join it, and uh, it will generate the full adder. But the output of two half adders must be combined using a OR gate that will generate the full adder. If it is asked to draw the truth table, same truth table you need to draw. You will have to write this sentence by adding two uh, half adders and then uh, Combining the outputs of two half adders using OR gate, full adder can be generated. Truth table is same which we have already generated. The next part is block diagram of microprocessor. As I mentioned earlier, this is the most important part. This question is expected for three marks. Again, we have block diagram of microcontroller and then comparison between microprocessor and microcontroller. Combined question can be asked like this draw the block diagram of microprocessor and microcontroller. Presently we are talking about microprocessor. So this is the generalized block diagram of microprocessor. Actually in your syllabus you just have a super, uh, I mean superficial view. Actually you are going to study these topics in detail in the latter uh, uh, classes. So this is the block diagram of uh, microprocessor. It consists of three types of bus. One is a data bus then control bus and address bus. As the name indicates, bus is a device like the wire. It carries the information or carries the pin. So address, data bus, as the name indicates, it carries the data from one part to another part. Control bus carries different control signals. Address bus carries the corresponding address. Say, let us say the address of memory location where you have stored some data and so on. Now, First block is accumulator. As the name indicates, it accumulates the result. For example, you are performing some addition and some carry generated. Then the, to accumulate that result, accumulator is used. Next is 
ALU, it is arithmetic and logic unit. As the name indicates, it performs arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, and logical operations. It is ALU, arithmetic and logic unit. It also performs logical operations, means AND gate, OR gate, XOR gate, and so on. So it is arithmetic and logical unit. Then next block is registers. Do uh, check the spelling. It is not R E S I S T E R. In normal electronics, we use R E S I S T E R. Here we are writing R E G I S T E R. It indicates that this is the register, this is the device which is used to temporarily store the data. The normal register used in electronics is for opposition of flow of current. This register, R E G I S T E R, is used to temporarily store the data. Then Data bus, as I mentioned earlier, is used to carry the uh, data from one uh, part to another part. Different timing and control circuits are used to uh, generate the clock signals because everything, every operation is performed with the help of clock signals. So this is done by, uh, this generated using the timing and control circuit. Then stack pointer and program counter. If there is a lengthy program, then uh, program counter is used. The similar is there, uh, uh, stack pointer which again points something in your program then next is interrupt circuit if there is some uh, high priority program you are executing certain program on the microprocessor and there is some high priority program as if you are traveling and uh, some ambulance is passing then you will have to give priority to the ambulance likewise if you are performing some programming and some another important program you will have to run you will have to execute immediately that that is arranged by using this interrupt circuit so this is the generalized block diagram as i mentioned you just have superficial overview of this part so this is the block diagram of microprocessor now the major problem with microprocessor is that this microprocessor alone can, can't work as a computer it needs certain extra devices like keyboard, like display, like different memory devices like EEPROM, EEPROM, uh, RAM, ROM and so on. So certain additional hardware circuitry is re required. These hardware circuits are called as peripheral devices. This is the drawback of microprocessor which also increases the size of the PCB. Now the next part is block diagram of microcontroller the next part is rather next question is draw and explain block diagram of microcontroller the diagram is basically same what's the difference in case of microprocessor as i said certain extra components are need to be connected externally which are known as peripheral devices in case of microcontroller it is actually a, a computer which consisting of all the things it is not at all required to connect some extra components so additional parts are ram or rom this is a memory then um, additionally we have connected counter interrupt circuit serial input output ports timing and clock signal remaining explanation is as it is whatever i have explained you right now that is function of accumulator alu register and so on only the peripherals are inbuilt they are in the form of ic packages so this is the microcontroller as i mentioned you need to write the same explanation of microprocessor what we discussed plus you need to add one sentence this is uh, basically consisting of all the peripheral devices and they are encapsulated or they are in the form of ic package it is the uh, block diagram of microcontroller now the last part is difference between microprocessor and microcontroller which is very very important now the last part question is compare microprocessor and microcontroller this is as i said earlier this is most important part this question is usually expected for four marks i have summarized the major points major differences between microprocessor and microcontroller first is microprocessor is a chip that is dependent on other chips what i said it requires memory devices to attach externally then uh, displays then uh, input output keyboards all the things are required to connect externally which are known as peripheral devices whereas microcontroller is a chip having everything inbuilt 
next one or two bit manipulation instructions that means the instructions instruction set whatever is required it consists of one or two bit manipulations whereas this instruction set for microcontroller consists of many bits which are required for manipulation third multifunction pins required multifunction pins are less number of multifunction pins here more number of multifunction pins then memory address space is large in case of microcontroller memory address space is smaller design is more flexible because very simple we are connecting uh, the peripheral devices externally so you can well replace it you can change it so designing is more flexible designing is less flexible access time is more that means time required to access the memory and so on is more here access time is less then clock rates are fast and in this case clock rates are slow and last part is more instructions are required to move the data between memory and cpu whereas if you are using microcontroller less instructions are required to make a motion of data from uh, memory and cpu so these are few important points related to comparison between microprocessor and microcontroller so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot